Wednesday night also sees both the China and Taiwan night. And a little bit earlier, I caught up with the directors from each event. First of all, thank you very much indeed, both of you, for joining us. We appreciate you taking the time out of your busy schedule, so thank you. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, let's start off at the, the, the beginning, China and Taiwan uh, nights. Uh, what's it all about? Yeah, for the China night, uh, usually at each APS, uh, the five Ch top Chinese universities will ha each have their own reception party uh, to get the alumni together and then just introduce uh, uh, the what's current status of the university and the department. And also the other purpose of recruiting the people who are interested in going back, I mean, as faculty members or postdocs. So this time is the first time that uh, the five uh, top Chinese universities uh, holding a party together. So that's why we call it China night that uh, uh, you can can imagine there will be a lot of uh, alumni and uh, students, postdocs coming in uh, to join the party. Yeah. And Taiwan Night? Yeah, Taiwan Night. This is the third time. Right. I think each uh, every, every time when the APS March meeting, we held the uh, this Taiwan Night, and uh, to invite all the uh, the graduate student uh, scholars uh, from overseas to come to join. And uh, this is also one of the the chance to recruit. So we have. Uh, uh, several, you know, universities and also several uh, research institutes that join to sponsor this uh, Taiwan night. What sort of recruitment are you looking to do? Well, the recruiting basically, you know, just in the physics field. For example, this is a condensed matter, so we'll be uh, on the condensed matter, either theory or the, uh, the experiment, you know. So, so these are the areas, you know, where I am at. Of course, we're also you know, other areas, you know, people come or invite them. And this APS March meeting is a good place to, to do this? Well, generally, yes. yes. Uh, for, 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 uh, she said it's the first time that the UN5 universities are, are getting together yeah. and, and, and doing it. Uh, are there a lot of Chinese uh, uh, graduate students here in America? Yeah, there's lots of them. So for, I can roughly give you a you know a number that uh, each year uh, our undergraduate student for each department is like uh, one to two hundred. Some departments have three hundred, and usually one third each year would go to United States wow. uh, for doing PhD studies. So you could imagine how many as five uh, university over the years uh, accumulating twenty thirty years. I mean, how many alumni are here? I mean, study uh, many of them actually are already working. Uh, in states uh, as faculty members uh, or people still doing industry research about R&D but uh, still related to uh, physics uh, you know, research. Sure. Yeah. And how many come back again? Uh, so recently it's getting more and more as the uh, China government is setting up certain kind of recruiting program trying to raise up the pay scale and also with the funding situation gets better and better in uh, China so that there are uh, really uh, uh, increasingly number of people are uh, coming back. So right now, as an example, we have like uh, uh, around uh, uh, like 1,000 uh, uh, faculty, uh, U.S. faculties uh, going back to... Uh, a thousand? Yeah, a wow. thousand. So that's a, a major recruitment. It's a lot of faculty. It's a lot of faculty. Yes. So you're both expecting a good turnout tonight at the meetings? Yeah. Yes. Yeah, it will so be a we'll huge crowd. Yeah. Huge crowd. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We have online yeah. registration. Yeah. I think it will be over 100. Wow. Yes. Yeah. Huge crowd and, yeah. and great parties. Yeah. Yeah. Both yeah. Yeah. Well, yes. Thank you both very much yeah. indeed for joining us today. Yeah. It's fascinating to talk yeah. to you. So thank you very much. Sure. Okay. Thank you. Okay. okay thank you much.